Hi, I'm Steve Miller. Call me Slim. And this is the Ask Slim Market Week. It's a look back at what happened in the financial markets in the past week. And a look forward to what might happen in coming weeks. And hopefully lots of great ideas and opportunities for you throughout this show. Well, the stock market pushed to new highs early in the week, and then it hit a wall. It had been elevated by a 10-day winning streak by the NASDAQ, which was the best since February. But then a continued stalemate in Congress over the COVID-19 rescue bill, and what had to be a lack of oxygen in that thin stratospheric air that the market had reached, that sent stocks lower as investors needed to take a big breath. Tuesday was the best day uh, and what proved to be the peak of that NASDAQ surge as investors had anticipated the IPOs of DoorDash and Airbnb, which did not disappoint. Valuations were plainly absurd, in my opinion, as those two companies are plainly bleeding cash. And the VCs were really smart in taking advantage of investors that had way too much punch in this party. Uh, DoorDash uh, will uh, uh, probably never have a better environment than it has right now as of course food deliveries during COVID-19 have been huge. Uh, but it lost $149 million through September of 2020 uh, and that shows you what kind of a uh, 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 setup for trouble that that really is. We're losing so much money now when really, it really can't get better for them. Uh, if if uh, you believe that the COVID-19 vaccinations are coming, uh, by 2021, uh, DoorDash business uh, could collapse, in my opinion. Uh, why would people not be going to restaurants then rather than bringing in food? And uh, the stock, which just soared to absurd levels, I think could be sub-20 sometime in, in 2021. So call me crazy, but you know I think valuations and, and conditions of market still matter. Airbnb, a similar case, may be worse when you look at the, the dollars because through September, they lost almost $700 million. Uh, but in their case, the COVID-19 vaccine will help as people start traveling again. So that might be a little bit of a better story. But again, it, it, they were doing you know terrible, losing a ton of money uh, before COVID hit and uh, they're gonna need some help to get anywhere near, near these valuations we see right now. Uh, Wednesday through Friday saw reality hit investors as the NASDAQ rally, which had abruptly turned into its worst day in months, uh, on Wednesday uh, started to pressure the market. Uh, and focus remained on COVID-19, record levels, and stress in the hospitals, and Congress gridlock uh, in their rescue plan, and uh, jobless claims, which have moved up uh, into uh, 830-something uh, thousand new jobless claims. That was uh, a pretty big uptick, and that's, of course, related to COVID-19. Also weighing on the European stocks was the no-deal Brexit, which could happen very, very soon if they don't, uh, they've extended talks through Sunday, but if something doesn't happen, well, then you have a Brexit, no deal, and then they have to kind of muddle through those trade issues as we go forward. Our analysis uh, showed that we would have a likely pullback into mid-December, and then a resumption on the upside into January. Well, that pullback is here. And we'll show you the targets on that a little bit later in the show. So if you were a, an aggressive trader, what would you buy in this step? Uh, if you believed that just as we've had all of these months that the buy the dip mentality, that action has worked, what would you buy? 
Well, our expert analyst, Arvi, did a great video on Thursday, and he looked at two groups that have some good upside ahead of them. We like uh, in our analysis, and I, we think that that potential says that this dip might give them a good opportunity. I want you to watch that. It's for levels two, three, and four members. And don't forget we have a Christmas special that you'll be able to see that, and I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. I, I say aggressive traders on the buying because starting um, sometime late January, maybe early February, our work shows the, the downside risks really increase. Uh, I'll visit that analysis, uh, which calls for a very challenging 2021 for the stock market, uh, on the, uh, in, the, in the Market Week New Year's special, which we're going to put out December 31st. I recently did a big picture video on the stock market, and you could see that if you're uh, a, an SLM Premium member. But I not only review that, but I'll be reviewing some of the other major markets for 2021 in that special show, December 31st. So don't miss that one. Uh, for the week, uh, for the week here here at midday, uh, stock market on its lows for the week. Uh, and uh, the indexes are mostly lower, well, slightly mixed, because the Russell managed still a tiny gain for the week. Uh, but the index is now down uh, up between 1.5% and, a half and uh, about close to 3% on the week, mostly. That Russell is just unbelievable. It does prove that zombies can still walk. Um, the bond market, well, 30 years had a big jump uh, as they rebounded for the week about two and a half points. Ten-year yields fall uh, 11 basis points to 88 basis points. They were, yeah, up close to 1%, and uh, we think they're headed back over 1% again. Gold, a uh, small gain on the week, uh, and that was after a big increase, uh, which it erased, uh, gaining about 5 $6 on the week right now. Uh, actually ticking up maybe a little bit more as I speak. Silver market also had put uh, on a bit of a rally and that finished slightly to the downside, or at least so far. Dollar uh, finally stopped its big get crush and puts on about two tenths of a percent to the upside uh, for the week. And oil continues to be the superstar. When it was down uh, under 40, we talked about it getting to 45, and now we've raised our target in there to about 48 and a half, 49. It gains about 50 cents on the week, and this is the sixth straight week uh, for gains for uh, the oil market. Um, that's uh, it for uh, the opening commentary here, but I have lots and lots to show you uh, as we move forward. I'll be bringing you uh, a special look at five stocks uh, that are positive and five that are negative using our special new indicator, uh, and you're going to like that. Uh, that's five stocks that still have some go-go and five stocks that lost their mojo. I'll be showing that to you in just a couple of minutes. Also, we'll be bringing you analysis on the stock indexes uh, and the um, also looking uh, at the gold market as we move forward. So lots to show you, and I think you will love it. Uh, if you are new to Ask Slim, go to the Ask Slim website, become a free member. Uh, if you're watching this or other clips on YouTube, uh, do subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell. We put out a video most days of the week, uh, and I think it's in, uh, extremely informative, and we're always teaching around our uh, unique way that we do our charting cycle analysis. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, you give it a thumbs down. Give us a nice, polite answer how we could be better because that's really what we always want to do because your success is our success. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Ask Slim and for information on our memberships and questions on our huge offerings of education and analysis, you can write Matt, Matt at AskSlim.com. He'll give you all of that great information. Yeah, just an example of the things that we brought out in the last week at Ask Slim. Uh, daily, we brought the Stock Index Report live stream uh, for traders uh, and uh, scalpers. That's uh, real short-term information, which you will find fascinating. Our daily snapshot with key analysis on the index, our daily trade ideas, 
Uh, with charts and videos that Arvi does, you'll just love the amount of learning you can do there. Future Speak, I bring that every single Wednesday. In-depth analysis on 24 futures contracts, weekly and daily cycle analysis. Uh, Wednesday, also, you're going to get Future Speak minutes uh, and the SIR weekly. Um, the minutes give you the exact uh, time. Uh, locations on the Future Speak video for the individual symbols you're interested in. Thursday, we had the stock sectors video. Arby did a fantastic job on two positive stock groups. You want to watch that. And uh, Friday, of course, we do the Market Week show. You get Market Week minutes, so you can go directly to those time indexes that you like. And the ETF report comes uh, also out on the weekend. And starting this week, we are bringing chart streams. We are in our beta version of this. Uh, and this will blow you away. Our channels that show our unique individual analytical gr uh, stock grids uh, for uh, very short-term, near-term traders, uh, you will love looking at that. So also take a peek at the new traders workbench uh, that we have on the site, and that's a whole new thing that we're going to be bringing that is going to be unbelievably supportive to your trade planning. So that's the stuff we have right now. Tremendous, tremendous amount of information that we bring every single week. All right, so now we're going to do something a bit different in here as we are going to look at uh, the new Slim Ribbon PO. Uh, this is our new indicator that we just released. Uh, this uh, is available to Level 4 members uh, to um, put on their uh, website uh, on their uh, on their charts on the Thinkorswim website. Uh, if you're, you don't have a Thinkorswim account, um, just ask for our link. We get credit for that. You can open up an account through Thinkorswim, become a level four member, and you can download the Slim Ribbon PO. And we do show that on all of our uh, mem all of our charts in the new chart streams for our level three and four members. So uh, this is uh, gonna be fascinating as we look at five stocks that have their go-go and five stocks that lost their mojo. And I'm gonna use these unique charts to help you see that. We're gonna start out by looking at the XLE. The first five we're gonna look at are great examples of, uh, of symbols that uh, are, have done really well, and the Slim Ribbon uh, PO has really uh, indicated this. Slim Ribbon PO is a uh, uh, just a fantastic indicator that what it does is uh, it takes our Slim Ribbon, which is made up of three moving averages, and then it gives you uh, the additional information that was in the projection oscillator. So we've taken the projection oscillator and recoded it uh, with the coding off of the slim ribbon, which is you can see right in here, this also has our, the dashed line is our reversal scout right there, which I have on this chart also, which is uh, very helpful. So what I, what I want to show you in here, we're looking at a six month daily and a, uh, and, a, and a 20 day, two hour chart in here where we have these uh, indicators. So these are really for people that are shorter term traders, uh, one to three week view, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, for option traders that really want to bias their positions properly, that's really what we're going to look at. So if you look, you know, XLE, the energies were extremely weak. And you could see the slim ribbon pointing down in here, showing negative momentum. Then you, uh, you have the reversal scout coming down right in here, which was starting to show you some kind of an upturn. Note how the programming in here, in the slim ribbon PO on the bottom, shows you when it's red, you have negative momentum. And when you get the down arrows, it tells you that it's confirming the negative momentum and that these are potential locations you could initiate a short or add to a short position. And at very, very least, it tells you that the momentum was negative. You can see what happened right over here when it turned blue and was warning you that there was a change coming because blue is neutral. And then it began to turn green as momentum got positive, And you can see that. Now, when you combine the, um, the, the, the daily information with the two-hour information, it is just absolutely fantastic. Because you can see, as it was very positive coming up here, and this is green, you got these bullish signals, bullish signals on the two hours. It went into a correction right over here. 
you can see that it turned blue it turned neutral and then even turned red as it corrected for a couple of few days and then it turned blue and green again and you began to get these bullish signals and there's a bullish signal pending in here right now so you could see how that works fantastic information using multiple time frames positive momentum very clear here a uh, shorter term uh, time frame gives you the uh, signals that you could enter uh, that are, um, are shorter term. Look at the value of this one and this one. And this one caught you a little bit, but it negated it very quickly to take you out of any trouble right over there in case it was going to be a big decline. And then it puts you in again on the long side as this remained positive. So I want to give you that walkthrough of this, of using the new Slim Ribbon PO. And uh, I think it's one of the best momentum indicators and combined with other indicators that you will ever find. Uh, fantastic information. Let's just look at a couple of the other uh, energy stocks so you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. And we'll show you a couple of energies and a couple uh, more uh, that are positive that illustrate this. Take a look at Occidental Petroleum. So again, you can see the negative uh, turn into the positive right over there. And then the short term signal. So in a turn positive, it gave you all of these signals on the daily. And then here on the two hour chart all of these positive signals and look how fantastic look at turn neutral here and told you to rest for a while and then it began to turn green again and said yes you can buy it again and uh, upside uh, was fantastic it just missed giving you another signal here because it was too strong uh, and now you have another one pending. So Oxy, another one that looks absolutely fantastic when you look at that. Slumber Zay is another one. And you get an idea when you look at this, how you can just stay in these very, very strong positions. I'll remove these cycle brackets out of here. Uh, and uh, now you can see in here again, the same thing in Slumber Zay. It was negative, giving you bearish signals right over here. And then when it turned positive, it gave you bullish signals, and the two hour was giving you fantastic signals right over here. Again, it's turned neutral right there, and it just turned neutral right now. So there isn't any kind of a buy warning coming here because this is neutral. It's going to need to do a little work before it turns up again. But with this being positive, that would be the expectation so far. So you wouldn't be shorting here. You would be looking for a long side opportunity. Let's take a look at a couple more uh, of these stocks that have been really good. Here's an exa example of the bank stock, uh, Citigroup. And you can see it was neutral to negative all through this period and the stock not able to get much going at all. And then right over here, you could see it turns positive, the slim ribbon positive, the ribbons widening, the reversal scout giving you the bull signal right over here. Is that ever perfect? And then all of these signals on the two hour charts, each telling you, confirming up upside momentum and locations where you could buy or add to existing long side positions. If you happen to be an option trader and you had a um, position that was testing you in some way, uh, let's say you had a condor or a short call vertical or something like that, this information would say don't get run over by it because the potential was just plainly uh, still there and it still does look like it's there <clears throat> uh, as uh, the stock is still in pretty good condition as you look at that. One more, this stock I've really liked uh, for the uh, intermediate term and this is BHP Billiton uh, in the materials category and you can see here, well, fantastic when you look at that. Uh, as it was really negative, it gave you all those red signals that you can see on the daily chart right over here. And when it turned positive, the reversal scout turned positive, and then it was giving you the bullish signals all green. And you can see in here, it was choppy. It went from bullish to neutral several times, and now has been staying uh, positive right over here, as you can see, giving you good indications when you are positive on the daily and you are positive on the two hour, you are positive that you can get good upside impulses as you see going on right over here in BHP Billiton. Taking a little bit of a rest here, but it does look like another positive upside green arrow is about to come. So that is the five stocks that have their go-go, and I really wanted to show you the Slim Ribbon PO. 
And now we're going to take a look at five stocks that were good and have lost their mojo. And we'll take a look at um, uh, Neo, Deer, uh, two home builders, KB Home and Pulte Home, and McDonald's. So here is Neo, which is a uh, EV stock that uh, has just been absolutely loved. Uh, and you can see in here, going back into uh, basically June, uh, how the Slim Ribbon PO was positive the whole time on the daily chart, giving you signal after signal after signal that it was likely to keep going on the upside. Now what has happened, and we'll take a little bit of closer look here, the, uh, oh, you got an uh, uh, you got the uh, reversal scout turning over right over here and then the slim ribbon and the slim ribbon PO turning blue. So all of that upside momentum that you had seen and all of that great action, it's now stalled. It's now given it up. <clears throat> and the expectation would be that it might have some trouble. If you look over here on the two hour chart, it went from positive giving you those upside gains as you see, to going neutral. And you can see in here, the, the reversal scout turned over. Uh, and uh, then right over at this point, it started to read negative and red, sell warning, sell warning, gave you neutral again, but then came, turned red again. And you can see timely as it turned red right over here, and then it had this big downside gap there. So uh, NEO, which was, has been uh, a darling in the EV category, uh, and which is a stock that is just, who knows if they uh, are ever going to develop a car that can bring them any real profits. Um, well, the stock got up to pretty high levels, and you can see you got a good warning there that it was ending. You can see the same thing here in uh, Deer, which has had this massive upside move. Now has turned neutral, and look what the 15 minute, I'm sorry, the two hour is showing you. 15 minute is in our near term uh, uh, chart grids. All this negative stuff as you could see it turns red and continues to move down in here while this was neutral you might not say well this isn't the sell signal yet but it certainly has warned you that the upside is over with and then right over here it turns negative you see the reversal scout turning up right over here a little bit of a warning right in there that there may be a strengthening going on at this level so we'll see how that actually goes so uh, the reversal scout is a little faster momentum indicator than the um, slim ribbon is and sometimes you get some good indicators out of that uh, reversal scout we have on many uh, of our charts that we look at so that's a look at deer two home builders kb home you will see here how they were really strong and now have turned a neutral to negative and you could see all that chop going on here with a lot of negative signals coming out uh, and Pulte Home, PHM, you can see that right here. That is, uh, let me just get that cycle bracket off of there. Uh, you can see it was really strong, and then all of a sudden it started to give you negative readings right in here. It was giving you negative readings right in here, and each of those, when uh, this is negative right here, and you get this sell warning right over here, which is basically yesterday, day before, that tells you that the risks are pretty good, that you're gonna be moving to the downside again. These have had big moves in here uh, based on the tightness of the home builder market and low interest rates, but they did get to a place where they needed a breather, and these indicators have really been telling us that. McDonald's, which did really well during this COVID period, you could see how it lost its mojo. Uh, as the reversal scout turns over right over here, at the same time you get the red readings in the uh, Slim Ribbon PO after all of these positive readings. You could see that, it just drove it up. And if you were short, you would be, t you would be wrong, and it was clear, and if you wanted to buy Buy it, you'd be right, and that was really clear. Now look what's happened. Negative right over here. Look at the sell signals coming out on this two hour right there, giving you warnings that momentum is negative and locations where you could consider uh, putting on a short position or uh, adding to a short position based on that. So remember, these indicators you see here have three different purposes. They are either uh, giving you a signal uh, uh, that is confirming a condition in the market or giving you a time location to sell or add. That's how we use that. And that is a look at 
the Slim Ribbon PO. Uh, I just think that that was really, really interesting stuff. And of course, if you get our chart streams, uh, you can uh, see the things that we're broadcasting right now with the Slim Ribbon PO on it. And uh, if you are a level four member or become one, uh, you can do that using our special gift membership. If you want to give yourself a gift, uh, then uh, you'll be able to have uh, our chart grids with all of that that you can load up on Thinkorswim. And of course, Thinkorswim uh, TD Ameritrade is our preferred broker. So that is a look at these fantastic, uh, fantastic information on these 10 stocks. All right, so now we're going to uh, look at something a little bit different than here. And I've been mentioning chart streams. And I just want to, you know, continue to tell you that in this last week, we have started chart streams beta. It's a proprietary analysis and indicators that we've developed. Right now, we have eight channels that are live uh, in version one, and there's much more coming. That includes the stock index report live stream for intraday trading on the stock indexes. We're doing multi time frame analysis on those seven symbols also. Uh, and this is trading information for either the one to three week short term trader or the near term trader that's one to five days. Uh, it's helped with decisions on directional bias, help with location and timing, as you just saw me do using the Slim Ribbon PO, and help with position sizing. In other words, when do you trade bigger or when do you trade smaller? Well, when there's alignments, uh, you trade bigger. When they're out of alignments, you trade smaller, and we'll show you that. And we have a glossary and usability guide <clears throat> that really helps you understand all of that. Let's take a look, a quick look right over here at the chart streams uh, page. And you can see that we're in beta testing right now. And we have right now uh, eight channels that we're broadcasting. And that is right over here is the uh, uh, is the SIR interday chart grid. And right over here are those uh, beautiful um, seven other symbols that we're broadcasting with our proprietary um, uh, 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 studies on there and a great way to do analysis. Let's just put up the Russell. I'm just going to click one so you could see. And what happens is, is that this is broadcasting. Uh, and uh, it looks like it's having a little bit of trouble. There you go. It's just buffering for a second. And you see this arrow? You just click on that. And now this is live charts coming from our system that you can use uh, to see the conditions of the market. You can see in here very clearly when you're looking at this that on the left, on the weekly, and if you're a, uh, a short-term trader, you're going to use weekly, daily, and two-hour. Uh, and all of these have still been an upside alignment and no secret about the strength we've seen in there on the Russell. Now the Russell is giving some warnings right over here as this is turned over and moved through the first acceleration zone there. And what this is the information that comes off the SIR uh, intraday uh, and uh, moving on the downside through the first acceleration zone. And if you're a near-term trader, you'd be using the, the right three charts, uh, the daily, the two-hour, and the 15-minute there. So uh, we have all of this really explained very, very clearly uh, when uh, you look at the... Um, when you look at the uh, uh, chart stream uh, information, if you go on there and you're able to participate in that uh, in the beta that we're doing right now, so that is uh, a look at chart streams. Just absolutely uh, fantastic information, and I hope you will, uh, you know, become a uh, a member. And uh, for level three and four, we're beta testing this right now. So give yourself the gift of Ash Slim so you can uh, participate. Uh, in that fantastic uh, information. Uh, and uh, I will tell you a little bit more uh, in just a moment about some other things uh, that we are doing. Um, right now, we're going to get into our analysis on the gold market. And I'm going to bring you something in here that I think uh, you're going to find fascinating uh, as I switch around into the charts again. And uh, we're going to now look at uh, a gold chart uh, that uh, I'm going to do a little teaching on here because uh, so many people ask us about cycle analysis and you know how do you start? How do you place um, the uh, time the timing tools like the uh, 
um, the cycle brackets that we use. So I'm going to switch over uh, and put up GLD so that you can uh, see. This is, was the McDonald's chart. And here you go. Here is a, I'll zoom in a little bit. Here's a GLD chart, which is gold. <clears throat> This has uh, on it uh, three moving averages uh, that we look at, uh, and the, the the blue one right over there is the um, 34 week, which is often a magnet, as you could see how it moves uh, up and down uh, to the 34 week so often. So when you look at this, you could say, okay, I could see it's rallied and sold off and rallied and sold off, and uh, there there's waves in here, but how am I ever going to understand what this ever means? And, and I'm going to try to bring you that type of information. So, yes, you know, I can see lows in here and I can see peaks in here, but what does that mean for measuring money flow, which is cycle analysis? What does it mean for understanding uh, what the conditions are and what's the likelihood of it moving up uh, again after this correction we've had or um, continuing to move down? Well, let's take a little look at that. So I, what I want to show you is the next, kind of a next layer in here. As I put timelines in here, and you can see that. Now, all of a sudden, we're looking at recurring rhythms in the market, in this gold market that you can see. And there are key lows that we look at. You can see the low here and here and here and here and here and here and those average about 50 weeks between each of them so that's uh, what a cycle is it's measured from low to low uh, to get the individual cycle it's it's like an oscillator essentially uh, uh, that electronic oscillator where you could see the rhythms in here or if it was like a heartbeat monitor it would be the same thing and that's the heartbeat of the market ba boom ba boom ba boom that's how it works and we do what we can to measure that if a cycle was absolutely ideal what would it what it would do it would rally you know about halfway up through the cycle and then it would come down the same thing about halfway down through the cycle so that would be your ideal cycle and then the next one would go halfway up and then halfway down and the next one halfway up and then halfway down it's that was those are called ideal cycles but what happens is is that a force acts on these cycles and the force is the money coming in and money coming out and sometimes instead of going up and down through half the time it goes up uh, for a much longer period of time and that is called a right hand translation so it gets for it gets pushed up as you can see right over there and then the same thing here gets pushed up and the same thing these are positively configured cycles in right hand translations because the peak is way on the right side of those cycles you can see that when it peaks on the left side of the cycle it's negative and then goes down for the whole period of time man i'm giving you a lot in here that gives you a good understanding of that so we use cycle brackets instead of these lines but you could really use both and here here is the analysis right now on the GLD market, gold. And here is how we look at it, looking at the 50-week cycles, and that's the, the big dominant bracket you can see right over here. And then there is a 25-week cycle right in here. And we have marked off the 50-week cycle as it traded and the 25-week cycle as it's trading. So what I just showed you, uh, and what I want you to do uh, as you get more and more interested in this, is go to the Ask Them website and go look at our cycle at our cycle analysis workshop there's a video in there that tells you uh, more about this and it tells you about our 20 different video modules and then you could take that workshop uh, if you feel like you're ready to invest in that so you could see in here the cycle rhythms very clearly now you had you know an upside cycle right over here bullish right really positive this was an anomalous break for the from when when covid hit so it didn't really even break down it got close to it there and then compete you know continued in the same rhythms but something now has happened and that is like i showed you in that earlier cycle where there's a rally and then it peaks early and then comes down once it breaks that previous cycle low the odds are extremely high that it will continue to trade down through this entire period that makes the next major low or the bottom of this cycle the big one and the bottom of this second minor cycle in september of 2021 
So that occasionally there are cycle shifts, and I talk about that in the workshop also, but what that says to me is that there is downside risk in here. Now what we do is use our swing high, swing low analysis to create resistance zones when it's negative. When it's positive, we create support zones. And you could see it got up here into that resistance sell zone. And it's a sell zone because this is negative. You can see in here the whole moving average, our momentum indicator giving you a negative condition right in here. And uh, with the breakdown, it is suggestive of the minor cycle coming down here into sometime in March or beginning of April. And you could get down to 165, that's uh, about seven, eight points, or even down here to about 157. So this does not tell a very good picture for the gold market. Of course, we always want to know when our analysis could go wrong, and that would be if uh, the first positive warning would be over the 78.6% at about 180. So if it got over 180, about a little over seven points to the upside, that would be a positive warning. It would not be a repair unless it got over this level right over here, 183.53 is where that repair level is. So right now, it is clearly negative to us. Everything that we look at is negative. Momentum in here is negative. And it suggests that a choppy downward market in here and if the correlations that are inverse to the dollar come back, because right now they've been correlated in a way that they're both declining, gold and the dollar, um, then uh, we think the dollar market is about to rebound, and that might put some downside pressure on the gold market. So this is a negative scenario we're looking at in gold. We said we look out about one to three months. Uh, and that's what we're doing right in here, as you can see. We're going to call for continued pressure in the gold market all the way out for the next three months. And uh, that uh, right there is an example of the just beautiful cyclical analysis in GLD, the gold market. And I really encourage you, once you learn this, you will never look at charts the same way. So gold, not in good shape right now. It will tell us if it's fixing itself, but right now it's not. So I wanted to give you that good look at the gold market in this one to three month view. I hope you found that incredibly interesting. I'm talking about our cycle analysis and you just got a nice little primer on that looking at that. Uh, for those of you that are considering becoming an ASLIM member or really want to get a good feel for what we do, we do have our holiday gift specials going on right now uh, for levels two, three, and four, special rates um, for three-month memberships. These are non-recurring. So, you know, normally when you become an ASLIM member, and most, most membership sites, once you sign up, they'll automatically renew. Because these are gifts and because we want people that are, are trying us for the first time to have the opportunity and not worry about having to cancel, these are not recurring. Uh, you can give the gift to someone you know that loves trading or investing. We have over 500 videos in there that I've recorded and RV is now recording. That is an amazing way to get trained around the market uh, with eight categories, all the way from uh, uh, looking at different stock sectors to looking at uh, trader psychology. Um, I'm, I'm a trained uh, coach. Uh, in um, personal growth work, uh, certified in emotional intelligence, and I combine all of that in all of my work. So great videos in there. Uh, things all about uh, uh, how traders engage in the market by looking at our style, strategy, and plan uh, stuff. Just amazing. Tools for Techs, over 80 videos in there on how to use different technical tools. Just fantastic. Uh, so you can become a special uh, to tr or uh, if you uh, you can become a member using this special or if you if you're already a member and you want to try a higher level you could do that for three months also and a bonus gift we're going to send you an Amazon gift card all you have to do <clears throat> is go to the AskSlim.com website you see this little holiday specials right up here at the top you click on that and that will bring you into the website and you can see everything that you need to know about these specials gift option one gift option two gift option three you can buy it and we're going to either send you a twenty dollar amazon gift card to cut into your cost into this or a fifty dollar or a hundred dollar amazon gift card depending on what you want to do that is the s slim holiday special give the gift of s slim <coughs> to yourself or somebody you love who you really want to learn 
a ton about the stock market. Ask Slim Holiday Specials, level 2, 3, and 4. All right, so now we're going to look at the stock market. Um, I, uh, I'm going to continue looking at things uh, with our cycle analysis, of course, because I don't know any other way. We're going to look at the weekly uh, charts in here uh, that have uh, one three-month view. If you're interested in the shorter-term analysis, um, we have a lot of people that are writing, uh, you know, that they want to see our daily analysis. That is available to you uh, for level two members or higher in future speak. Uh, where we do 24 different futures of uh, six different segments of the uh, futures markets and uh, looking at multiple time frame weekly and daily. So uh, please do uh, watch the Future Speak show to get that information. All right, so what are we going to do now? We're going to look at um, the uh, SPY, and just leaving this gold pattern right over there. And here is SPY and the great megaphone that we're looking at right over here. Uh, and the cyclical rhythms, you could see the cycle brackets on the bottom. Uh, the red uh, percentages are in there about the declining phases. When you're in a yellow def declining phase, that is when the two cycles are moving down together. We call that nesting. And that's when the greatest risks are 6.7%, 6%, 35%, 10.8%. Those are when you get declines, and we're not there yet because we're essentially just now finishing the minor cycle. We have called for a decline of some minor amount here in the stock market in December based on this corrective period right over here. I'm going to show you the Russell in a moment. Now, while, while this really points to a bottom sometime in, the, in about a week, um, the Russell points more to a low around the end of Je end of December or beginning of January. So that might mean we're in for a little choppy period right through the end of the year. Um, not with the uh, S&Ps right now down 30, 30 points today uh, here uh, at midday or a little bit later than midday, um, there is this is the, the decline that we were expecting here uh, in the stock market. We thought it would only be uh, in the S&P 500, maybe 110 to 130 points on the downside. And uh, right now we're you know, about maybe about 80, 70 something points or 80 points on the downside. So uh, it's, it, it's, we think it still has more room. Let me take a little closer look right over here for you to see as we're looking at one to three months, this looks like a decline on here to about 359 in the S&P 500. Uh, and then likely getting another move to the upside and it would it would surprise me if it didn't make a new high because this is a bullishly configured cycle and it says that the next cycle will make a new high just like this happened right over here and it made much higher new high our projection on the upside uh, and here to these fib extensions is around 371 to about 374 5 something like that so that's what we expect to move down to 350 if this got panicky right now, it would be 351, which I do not expect, actually. So we'll expect, we'll look for another week or so on the downside in here, find a bottom, and then the bottom pickers, the, the, the people that believe you could buy every downside dip will be in again. And then sometime right over here from somewhere around mid-January into maybe early February, we make the peak and then this is that big downside area that we see. We would expect a minimum of 10% down, maybe 20% down in the first leg, as we think that this will be a major top. I'll talk more about that when uh, I do the show, uh, the Market Week New Year's special on December 31st, uh, where I'll, I'll bring you the uh, major markets and, and gold uh, in the dollar and and we'll look at those on a monthly chart and get some sense about what we think will happen in the next year so uh, you'll be you'll want to see that and that comes out uh, during our, what will be our vacation time uh, and I'll be coming back to do that special show so this is a look at the spiders we're gonna look for a little more downside and then moving up to another high I just want to look at the Russell which is the strongest of all of these indexes right here. You could see the cycle brackets on the bottom, the harmonic families that are in there, and the multiple time frames. So uh, when I look at the shorter term, the daily chart, it points to a potential decline out over here into the fourth week of December. That's a little bit longer. 
So we're going to look for this to actually become a decline of some sort because the Russell has not been able to move down uh, very much, though it's down over a little over 1% here on Friday. Our target on here is, we'll call it 1810. Uh, 1815 somewhere right in there uh, and then moving up and testing or uh, getting beyond the high you can see how it hit that fib extension target zone right over there uh, and then uh, started to back off a little bit it's been super super powerful made up of uh, stocks that overall don't earn any money uh, and uh, about 20 percent of it are what you would consider zombie stocks stocks just held up uh, companies only held together by the false uh, interest rates that we have right now uh, and the Fed activity. Uh, and overall, uh, if you take all of the losing earnings and all of the winning earnings, you barely have any earnings in the Russell. But most of the, uh, the uh, I think it's S&P 500, uh, Moody's, the ones that give you the PEs on that, they, they don't even count the losing stocks. They only tell you the stocks that the companies that make money and that's how they come up with their PE so the P in here here is just not you know it's not even applicable uh, it's just a super unbelievably high priced uh, uh, index as you look at this and we think it's going to make a major top between now and February uh, and then begin to have a bigger decline so that's your one to three month view in the Russell we'll look for a few potential few weeks on the downside and then taking out another new high before it runs into trouble in this nested area that we're looking at here and remember we're talking about a decline out into March and that's how these line up right over here so you can see where they lined up over here well you don't always get a COVID collapse like you had right there sometimes you only get a mild decline while you're in a bull market I think this is going to start more trouble right over there in the Russell. So that is a look at the stock indexes. Um, overall, we're looking for a choppy few weeks, as we see right in here, uh, moving uh, down and then up and then uh, setting up what looks like a bigger decline. Uh, in the stock market. I hope you have found this information to be unbelievably valuable. I did a lot of teaching in this video and if you're only watching a clip here go back and look at what I brought about uh, the uh, five stocks that uh, have still have their go-go and five stocks that have lost their mojo. You'll learn a lot in that and also about our analysis on the gold market where I teach you about cycle analysis. Uh, again, uh, if you're new, go to Ask Slim, become a free member, um, get all the info on our site. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and click that bell. Uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you watch our member videos that are in the playlists uh, in there on past shows. We have a lot of good stuff there. Follow us on Twitter, Ask Slim. And for information uh, on our website, on our fantastic educational offerings and analysis, uh, our services, and all of the new things that are coming on board, just write to Matt at AskSlim.com and he will be able to keep you well informed. That is it for this show. I want you to be so unbelievably careful because it is so crazy out there. And I'm always wishing you great trading.